Kelsey's Tower Readings back with another pick a card or pick a pile um, or pick a crystal because you know how <laughs> I love to put my crystals on top. I feel like they always um, represent a message. Um, the crystals to me always have to do with, you know, the pile as well. Uh, for example, like Black Upside, it's about like healing and protection stone and then Clear crystal is also very powerful. It's like known as the most powerful as well as healing stone. Um, but yeah, so I did four different piles. And again, this is going to be a random message. So if this does not resonate with you, that's okay. It probably was not meant for you. It will be meant for the majority though. So um, again, I did four different piles and this will be a message from someone um most likely who you are not in contact with because obviously um, this is communication that is either left unsaid or hasn't been said. But it could be someone you um, are actually in communication with, but it could just be something, again, that's like unsaid, like a, just a secret message, that kind of thing. Um, this one was not requested. I just thought of it. Um, I thought it would be a cool idea for you guys. So yeah. We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Um, I will post the timestamps in the description as well as if you want to bur uh, sorry, <laughs> burk, book a personal reading with me. Um, thank you guys so much. And if this resonates, all I ask is to just like and subscribe. All right. Thank you guys. Okay. So pile one, um, this is a special, a special message for you. Um, secret message, so we have Eagle, Triumph Over Troubles, Obstacles. So this message is basically, uh, this message for you is someone saying that they're wanting triumph over troubles, obviously, instead of obstacles. Um, I feel like this is like between you and them. Um, I also get the feeling for some of the people watching you, the secret message is saying they see you coming over troubles and obstacles, like you are this eagle. Um, so for the tarot cards, we have Knight of Pentacles. So this could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that's bringing this message to you. Um, and then you are probably this Empress, or again, just switch roles if you're a male. Um then this would be the Empress, you know, reaching out to you. But um, what I would say is they, what they're telling you is that they are probably going through this sort of awakening or they've gone through this awakening um, where now they are looking at things from a different perspective. It says, um, looking at things from, sorry. <laughs> looking at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, and it's important to be yourself. So I feel like this person um, is probably going through some sort of awakening. Um, obviously, there's been an ending. Um, they would, oh, so the message here basically is they want to tell you that there was an ending between you and them probably, and they I think they want to apologize because I think it has to be because we have awakening so they're looking at things from a different perspective i feel like maybe um you know how the knight of pentacles has like an offering as you can see as we always say with the pentacles so again um probably just wanting to offer you an apology for maybe how things ended or like whatever ended between you two and again it could just be a friend too it could be a friend or whatever, but they're wanting to like apologize for this ending. Um, and then we have through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. So um, this person could be like into, I don't know if they're religious, but they could be like praying or something, um, but they want peace. However, yeah, again, I'm just saying that this person, um, is looking at things from a different perspective now and I feel like they just want to come forward and maybe give you this apology. That's what I feel like. That's definitely the message I get. And again, with the ego triumph over troubles, again, I feel like they see this, I see they see you as this way because you're the empress. So they definitely see you as this, which is, that's actually the first feeling I got. Um, 
but it also could mean, you know, the relationship as well, like getting over the obstacles, okay? So that was pile one, guys. I hope that resonated. And again, this is either from this divine feminine, if you are a male, or um, an earth sign male. Very grounded male. Okay, guys, so that was pile one. Um, thank you guys so much. So nice for you guys. So for this pile, we have whale. We have great worry over nothing. So this message for, uh, to you is about... This person is letting you know that, that you are worrying a lot over nothing, maybe, perhaps. Yes. We have the Page of Cups, so this could be a young water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that is delivering this message. Um, path relates to change. Um, great worry over nothing. With the magician right in the middle, I want to say this has a lot to do with manifestation. So they're trying to like manifest something, um, something positive. Like maybe they've been trying, maybe they've been trying to like have fun with you, but maybe you worry too much. Um, and it seems like again they could be like. Because we have life experience, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. Um, this person wants to tell you that you have changed their life a lot. Um, you are a significant part. Maybe, oh yeah, maybe for most of you watching this, maybe you think that this page of cups, um, maybe you're worried about what they think of you or whatever. But they're letting you know that this is like you were your time with them or whatever was a significant life event um or if you're still with them it is a significant life event and you're worrying they just want to manifest something with you have fun with you maybe go out with you um and again th again with the great worry over nothing it's funny because we also have this card i let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love so again, like maybe there's this shadow of you that you carry around with you from the past, which is why maybe you're not letting this young sign, this young uh, creative person, this young romantic um, into your life. And again, if this had already happened, they want to let you know you're worrying over nothing. You were a very important part of their life. Um, they could be actually still trying to manifest you, um, but it seems like they genuinely just want you to actually have fun with the three of cups but yeah this is what i'm getting for pile two i'll pull one more card i don't know why but i just will for you guys if i can find oh i'll put it on top of the deck i got it okay so what is can we get one more message for pile two Oh, this also actually could be an air sign. Maybe two. You know what it could be? With the Page of Cups, I did initially because, as you guys know, Page of Cups is a creative card. So, um, this person also is also could also be telling you to manifest your creativity because you're such a creative person. And, you know, but that's... So we have the King of Swords, so this also could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, but um, what the other message is, is they want to communicate with you, probably, have a conversation. Because as you guys know, the Swords are about communication, and when it's the King, you know, he is uh, he's the King, so I feel like he's the best communicator of them all. Um, again, it could also just be indicating that he's uh, ha uh, more of you could also be with a air. It could be with an air sign. But again, this person, the message to you is they do want to communicate probably um, something to you with the King of Swords energy. But yeah, great worry over nothing because you were a big life experience, a big change. Um, and yeah, they also... Um, it could also be, you know what I get? Because this is a message from them. So it could be that they let go of the shadow of the past. And 
they saw you for the first time with the eyes of love. That could be it too, yeah. Because this is a message from them, so that's true. Okay, guys, so that was pile two. I hope this resonated. Bye. Um, so this is um, the message for you from someone. <laughs> and again, this is general. So we have Target. Um, they want to tell you that you are a very goal-oriented person. They see you as a very goal-oriented person. That's a compliment. Um, they want to tell you here with this message, they are still heartbroken over this situation. I don't know who this is, by the way. Again, this could be for all of you. This could be a different person, but... This message being reached out to you is they're very heartbroken. They're, this could be, a again, with cycles that talks about karmic relationships with the world. But it could, um, it could also mean, again, they want um, this new beginning with you. Like, they want the cycles to probably stop. You know, and they want there to be a good cycle. And they want a new beginning with you with the Ace of Cups. They honestly, with the Two of Pentacles, just want to balance things. And for you, if you're a man or a woman, this is the Empress. So if you're a woman, they see you as the Empress. Um, a woman who has lavish abundance. Um, you give birth to your dreams. And again, a goal-oriented person. You give birth to your dreams and you nurture yourself and others. So they see you as their empress. And if you are male, this is your empress reaching out to you and letting you know how she feels. Um, it could be like the divine feminine for you. And they also want to know, um, sorry, want you to know that the universe has your back and they see this. Um, it's funny because this is actually the um, cover of the deck. But um, yeah. So they also want to relay the message that they think that the universe has your back completely, um, for sure. Uh, I don't know why they want to say that, but it's, again, actually, no, I do know why. I don't know why I'm saying I don't know why. <laughs> no, they, they do know why. It's because they see you as this goal-oriented person. Um, they see you as the empress. They want this new beginning. Again, oh, with the two pentacles, yeah, they want to balance it. Again, with the Two of Pentacles, you guys know uh, it's about Earth, is about grounding. Um, so they're wanting to make it like a grounded connection, like just balanced. Okay, so that was pile three. I know that was quick, but this was a quick message. It's, I mean, it's a deep message. It, it might be a quick message, but it's also a deep message. So, all right, bye guys. For um, so uh, this message. Um, this person wants to tell you, I don't know why, like, they want to tell you this, but they want to tell you that they have something going on, um, with friends or family, like, some drama or whatever. Like, they have a lot going on, I guess, with their home life. They want to tell you this. They see, they could be seeing you as the Queen of Wands right now, or you are the Queen of Wands. Um, I mean, or they are the Queen of Wands, sorry, if you're male watching. Um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You don't, um, you don't have to be the Queen of Wands, but you are a very passionate woman. You are very creative. You are beautiful. You are queen material. Um, they want to tell you that. They also want to tell you, um, this could be a fire sign, by the way. There's so much fire energy. We also have Earth here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, um, it's funny these, uh, that I laid these two t uh, next to each other because... I feel like this is them looking at you. Um, it could be through social media or just, you know, watching you somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Stalker. I'm just kidding. Um, they want to tell you that they've actually been doing a lot of, like, going inside. Like, I feel like they want to tell you they've been doing a lot of soul searching. Um, just thinking more deeply about life and stuff in general. They also want to tell you that they're being patient right now. I don't know what that means. I don't know if... You know they're being patient with work or their or the connection itself like maybe they're being patient maybe you're not in connection in contact again this is messages so for most you will not be in contact with this person or whatever and then the three of wands again they're what they want to tell you is that they want to move forward you like they want to come towards you like they're seeing you it's funny because then um sorry we have 
We have two and then three of wands, so they want to tell you that they see you here and either they've been watching you or they, you know, they see you. And then with three of wands, they also want to tell you that they want to come forward to you. I don't know why. Again, this is general, so I'm not sure why. But they also have gone inside. Um, and then again, it's very apparent, and I don't know why they want to make this so apparent, but they are having the discord among friends and family. So then we also have the Four of Air. They, they are allowing, so what they want to tell you is they're allowing more time before making a decision. <laughs> um, yeah. They want to tell you that they're resting, that they're not doing much about it right now. They, I mean, I don't know why they would want to tell you that if they, if you know that, <laughs> but I feel like this is just like confirmation. Like they're just kind of in this energy right now. They want to tell you that they're like resting a lot in this four of air mode. And it's also like kind of a low energy mode if you think about it as well, four of air. I choose love no matter what, so it, uh, this person also wants to let it be known that they could love you or, you know, again, they're choosing it no matter what, so maybe regardless, they're choosing it over everything, so maybe they're trusting their heart over their head type of thing, okay? So that was Pile 4, and I hope that resonated. Bye, guys.